Welcome back to another episode of Conversation Time. Today, we're diving into a topic that has become an integral part of our lives, the impact of social media on society. From connecting with friends to influencing public opinion, social media has undoubtedly transformed the way we interact and perceive the world. Before we explore the pros and cons of social media, let's take a moment to reflect. How often do you find yourself scrolling through your news feeds, posting updates, or trying to capture the perfect selfie, or perfect the latest TikTok dance craze? For me, it wasn't until recently that I realized the true power of social media. Obviously, you know, over the last 18 months, we've been able to share videos and pictures of our son growing up. Um, but I think what had the biggest impact was um, after my dad had passed, we used social media, obviously, to put a post up explaining that he passed and um, the funeral arrangements with everything. And this was for people who were out of town, people who we may not have contact numbers for, anything. But most everybody has a social media page that they follow um, and then they can get information from there. So it was more, you know, obviously we know that we use social media for sharing purposes, but that really kind of hit home when we used it to spread the word of a, a death of a family. So social media has undoubtedly numerous advantages. Firstly, it allows us to connect with loved ones across distances, mm -hmm. bridging gaps and fostering meaningful relationships. It has never been easier to share updated photos in moments that matter in life, like oh, yeah. you said, um, in terms with our son. Yeah. Um, furthermore, social media has become a platform for self-expression and creativity. Um, from artists to musicians, it offers a space for individuals to showcase their talents and to gain recognition like never before. It demonstrates the creative landscape, giving everyone a voice and a platform to showcase their own individuality. However, like any powerful tool, social media has its downsides. One of most concerning aspects is its impact on mental health. Constant exposure to carefully curated highlighted reels can lead to feelings of inadequacy and low self-esteem. What we see on social media isn't always an accurate, accurate portrayal of reality. Additionally, the addictive nature of social media can consume significant amounts of time yeah. and attention. Hours can slip away as we mindlessly scroll through endless content, sometimes neglecting real-life interactions and experiences. Just think of how many times you go to the bathroom with your phone <laughs> and you just go in there to do one thing, and the next thing you know, you're just scrolling, your legs have been locked up, and you don't realize <laughs> that, hey, I've been in here for an hour and a half, oh, you know, my. just <laughs> scrolling, whether on Instagram or Facebook or mm -hmm. The new thing that, that the kids are doing, TikTok now, so. <laughs> the new thing. So the question now is how can we strike a balance? How can we reap the benefits of social media while minimizing its negative impact? Well, here are a few strategies for a healthy and mindful use. Number one, establishing time limits and setting boundaries. First, consider setting time limits for your social media usage. Allocate specific windows throughout the day to dedicate to engaging with platforms and be intentional about logging out when that time is up. Two, curating your social media feed. Take control of your social media experience by curating your feed. Unfollow accounts that make you feel inadequate or promote negativity and instead follow accounts that inspire and uplift you. Number three, engage mindfully and meaningfully. Be mindful of how you engage with social media. Instead of mindless scrolling, seek meaningful interactions. Engage in discussions, support causes you care about, and build genuine connections. So these are just three helpful tips to help you utilize healthy social media interactions. Now, there are many others out there, but definitely starting with three to get you into a habit because we all know how hard it is to, to kick a habit oh, when yeah. something is, is addicting for us. So remember, you have the power to shape your social media experience. Let's use this digital world to connect, inspire, and make a positive impact. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like, share, follow, and subscribe for more insightful discussions like this one.